Hello, 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 everybody. Welcome back to more Xenoblade Chronicles. Oh, goodness. Goodness, goodness, goodness. I'm actually... You are officially caught up. If you're watching this, you are no longer behind on episodes. I have officially caught up. Or I should say, videos are officially caught up. All right. I didn't do much between episodes. I switched around some stuff. So I gave everybody, or at least my main characters, anti-mechon weapons, which are a bit weaker than my actual weapons. Um, they're quite a bit weaker than what I was using originally. But I did this for a few different reasons. The big reason I did this is that I no longer have to spend the first handful of seconds in a fight making them able to hit mechon and do damage to them. I could just do damage. So I'll take the slight loss in damage as it does seem to be what the game expects you to do uh as far as what i've looked up everyone kind of just expects that you'll buy anti mechon weapons i do believe that a lot of the reason i'm probably a little overpowered is because i've been doing all those quests and everything it's probably one of the reasons so uh we should be fine let's go i hope i think i'm fine i hope i'm fine that's all i can really hope for on this one Looks like the next place to go is right ahead. I've been waiting for you. Munka. How predictable. I knew you were going to come. How could you? How could you do this to your own kind? That ain't got nothing to do with it. I'm just having the time of my life here. Ain't that the point? I even get to take out that annoying Monado brat. Oi, Beardy! You're talking pretty tough there! Don't be so sure you can take us all on by yourself! Come on! <laughs> I ain't that stupid. What's that sound? You scumbag! <laughs> well then, Madonna boy! Think you can do it? Just like with Zanza. Shala, look out! Too bad she won't give me much of a fight. Shulk? Everyone, watch out for the green claws and the other one's spears. There's something different about them. You catch on quick, boy! You're right! These weapons are special! They were made especially to decompose you, Homs! And no, wait! Any being from Bionis! How can that be? I don't know about all this technical stuff, but it's something to do with that ether! Ether is like the Bionis blood! The fortress sucks its blood out for us! Then we use it to make this green liquid. You monsters! <laughs> Pretty clever, don't you think? This world suits me just fine, Dunban! Munka, you're gonna pay! I'm tired of your yapping, Mr. Hero! I'm gonna squish you like a slug! Right here, where we shared such lovely memories! Alright, I guess this is what we're doing. Nice. Oh, 
Oh man, this this sucks so much less being able to just hurt him and not deal with the BS of having to cast something to do damage. No, 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 no. Stay amped up, my dude. Stay amped up. Uh-oh. Well, that's not appropriate. Oh, no. Oh, no, they stunned all of us. Shit. Oh, that's cruel, game. What the hell? Yeah, sorry. Nice. Suck it, mum car. Well, duh. Yes. This is the power of the Monado. You wanted it, so now you can have it, Bunka. I'm better than all of you. You're the one who's finished. Die! Stop! Get out of my way! It's Munkar! He's not a Mekon! Have you forgotten everything he's done? Where is your killer instinct? Now is the time! I hate him, Dumban! For what he did to Fiora and the Emperor! So of course I want to get my revenge! Shulk! <laughs> Face Mekon are not like the others. They're people. Like us. Are you really willing to kill another Homs? Yes. Sometimes needs must. Uh, even if it's Fiora. What then? When we set out, I wanted to destroy all Mekon. That was my aim. But now... I know that there are people inside. I have to know why. What's the reason for all of this? Why do Vionis and Mechonis have to keep on fighting? I have to find out why. So, that is your fight. I will never forgive what he's done. And yet, your words, they ring true. I feel their weight. We have to help Fiora now. We'll worry about the rest later. Right. Did you hear that, Munkar? We haven't got time to be playing around with you. You always have to have the last word! Just die! No! Just Don't move! Die.
you went too far, you fool. Surprisingly little use, those visions. Because he could not save his majesty. That was within the margin of fate. It was not Schultz's fault. Hmm. So you side with the boy? Did you find anything out? I did. It is most fascinating. The sphere. The green fluid alters and destroys the structure of the ether which is the building block of life on Bionis. It appears to have been created from ether energy drawn from the blood of the Bionis. Could that explain the ether flowing through Sword Valley? I do not think it is the only reason, but it is too early to draw conclusions. Is there a countermeasure? Creating antibodies is a simple matter. We will be ready. That is good news. Why did you have to include him? You know how he disgusts me. We must respect our elders. Dixon has known him far longer than us. At least he's out of the way. Now we just need to get inside. They're in there. Fiora and the Golden Mechon. Fiora! Shulk! What's up? Did you see something? No. You did see something. All right. It was the Silver Mechon. Fiora. She's definitely inside the fortress. All right. At least we know what to expect. So, Fiora is inside. I can't let that vision come true. I have to save her. All right. So that went surprisingly well. I think a lot of that has to do with that. Once you take away the need to have to use... Uh, Enchant or Monado enchant suddenly the game becomes a lot easier because you're focusing on what's important You're focusing on actually damaging the enemy and not focusing on having to cast a spell every time I get into a fight Which is really really annoying And I you know is this, this is one of those weird cases for me where I have to kind of come clean and say you know you spend so much time worrying about whether or not you're going to be ready to take on the rest of the game when maybe you've been asking the wrong question the whole time. You know, I mean, despite the damage loss I've taken with this little change of gear, it hasn't really affected my abilities that drastically. Uh, do that. Thank you. You know, I might as well just use Buster at this point. Fuck it. Nice. Yeah, indeed. Electric plus. Ah, whatever. Leave him. But yeah, that's one of the weird things in this game. 
where it's like I went through so much of it thinking, oh, I'm either I'm either overpowered or underpowered, when I probably wasn't either of the two things. Um, fundamentally, I don't think I was either. I don't think I was ever over or underpowered uh, specifically. I think I was just where I needed to be, or at the very least. As long as I'm not fighting Mechon, I can probably get away with using those stronger weapons. But it's like, I feel like out of convenience, you de you're going to end up dealing more damage if you don't waste your time with that. With uh, having to use skills to let you damage Mechon. Because it just seems like a real waste of like skill economy to have to like do that every fucking fight I get into. Come on, get me back up. Thank you. You know what? Fuck it. You get in this dick. Um. Oh wow, that was a hell of a, that was a hell of a lot of XP. Damn. I don't think I'm pushing too far below. I'm 54, and I think the next thing I have to fight is gonna be like between 55 or so. So I'm actually about where I should be for this next segment. So I shouldn't be too far off from from the bar. I don't. Oh, hello. We have more mech on. Perfect. You know, for all their efforts, they're really not as dangerous as I thought they were gonna be. Which, you know, this is this is like the story of my life on YouTube, right? You psych yourself out thinking it's gonna be super difficult only to realize, hey, maybe the easiest way to handle the situation was with like better weapons or just different weapons not even better weapons like I said before the anti mech on blades I have access to right now aren't even better than what I was using before but like I said before it doesn't seem to make that big of a difference in the long run and I can't even say like we're doing that much less I mean number wise we probably are I don't deny it. oh well there he goes he falls right the fuck off fantastic so yeah, Mumkar's d dead, I think. I don't know. I assume he died. But I don't know, man. That seems like a really cheap way to get out of having like someone kill somebody, right? Like, oh, they didn't have to kill him. He killed himself. No, he didn't. That's like Batman Begins where uh they're on the he's on the train and he's like, "Oh, I don't have to kill you." He goes because I won't kill you, but I don't have to save you. Well, I mean, yeah, I guess, but that doesn't make what you did any better. All right, fuck it, we're going in. Nice. See ya. Then again, these guys are supremely weak. They're nowhere near my level, at least, so... I kind of want... Eh, at their level, they're not even worth, like, trying to get the extra XP for, uh... Chain attacking them. Am I being followed? Oh, they must be above... Yeah, they're above me. Okay. Fair enough, game. Fair enough. They're above me. That's fine. We can live with that. Nothing wrong with that problem. We fix those. I will at some point, probably towards the latter part of the game, I'm going to have to put some work in on, a, on a crystals and gems and shit for my gear. I'm, like I said, I'm probably not going to be doing much for like 
other stuff for this game. This playthrough is primarily just focusing on the story, maybe some side stuff I decide to do along the way. But I don't know, guys. I'm kind of like, uh, we're out of chapter 11. I feel like at this point, I've seen, I have a few things I've missed, but for the most part, I'm probably just going to go straight to the end once we get to that point. Here's our way in. There's no turning back. We can't let them find us. Let's move. Right. All right. Hey, more experience. Boy, there's a lot of Mako energy just, just swirling around in this place. Is this really safe? Actually, I don't think... I don't think... Um, well, actually, Ether does seem to be, like, uh, corrosive, right? Like, we dropped... Uh, we dropped old face Mechon into one into like a into like Ether before and he came out looking pretty toasty. So I don't even I don't think Ether is good for anything real. I think if you get dropped into it, you just die. Galahad Fortress. All right, defeat Mechon within Galahad Fortress to see if you can find a way to unlock the lift. All right, we gotta trash some robos, some robots. Let's trash some robots. My goodness. I will give this game credit where credit is certainly due. Oh, hell yeah! Oh, hell yeah, this music is bad as fuck! Let's go! Video games! Alright, let's rock these bitches. got wrecked hell yeah hell yeah oh man that's metal oh hello okay yeah we doing this let's go get this dick get this dick yo wait, I, I don't want the dick don't give me the dick I don't mm -mm. I ain't about that life not today at least maybe on maybe on a Wednesday we can talk about giving me the dick but not right now not today Come on, don't die. Damn it. I didn't have any way to get myself healed or to get myself dealt with. Damn it. All right, we're going to let I'm going to let them handle this for right now. Mm. 
Nice. Alright, that's dealt with. Get back up. Nice. Jumbo Garter, okay, take all. No, uh, quit, yeah, leave these items. Okay, cool, moving on. I mean, I'll take almost anything at this point, fuck it. You're gonna go through all that issue to drop it. We got a, we got, we got affinity coin out of that too. That must've been, that was a, clearly a unique one. them out pretty easily it looks like the place we need to be going is here cool these guys aren't um i don't see any name i don't see any special mech on here but he's almost my level maybe i can just pull him can i just pull him or not okay well, that didn't work It's fine. It's fine. We're fine. We're perfectly, we're perfectly fine. There's nothing wrong here. We're gonna be fine. Nice. No, it's not over at all, baby. Oh, are we still going? Oh, are we still going? Woo! We, we were still going. Woo! Can't stop me. Can't stop me. Video games. Let's fucking rock. Oh my god, my chain attack meter. Oh, Jesus. Yay, the second art core coil. That was difficult. We're we really helping Colony 6. Yeah, might as well kill you while I'm at it. Oh, look, look, Ryan. I love you to death, my dude. You've been a permanent staple to this team. But I really don't think you're in that big a need of reassurement of your uh, necessity to this team. I feel like you're just trying to, uh, you know, have your cake and or eat it. And I respect that, but I think that's a little unnecessary at the moment. Alright, so. We got the thing we needed. So now, we can go down here and get the hell out of this place. Hell yeah. You know, I halfway regret being so concerned about whether or not we were going to be fine. Turns out not only will we be fine, I have nothing to absolutely worry about. My dudes, my dudes over here doing damage out here. We out here doing it. We get, we're putting in this work right now. There's work happening here. I'm going to have to kill some more people. I'll have to end some more lives out here in this bitch.
Oh, I didn't want to do that. Game. Oh, well. That was absolutely not worth it. Oh, I'm sorry. That was that was that was an input error. That was absolutely an input error. I regret it. I regret everything. All right. Oh, we're at 30 minutes. Shit, we're gonna keep going. I thought we were. I thought it was later. Yo, we we getting it done out here, guys. We are rocking this shit. Hell yeah, let's go. We play video games. Uh. Nice. You know, Dunban, uh, your look is very unique. I don't know why I gave you the shirtless samurai look. Can't say I completely understand what I was going for when I did that. Oh, okay. What's up here? I'm gonna look around, honestly. Fuck it. We're already here. Might as well look around. <gasps> oh, shit. Oh, fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. I want this music. Ooh, give me this music, though. Ooh, get... Ooh, get that topple. Ooh, get that topple. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Nice. I don't think it was that bad at all, honestly. I think we did pretty well, all things considered. I might have to go through my other gear, though. Because I know I keep picking shit up. So it's not like I'm not getting gear to equip. I just, uh... I have a lot of shit to sort through, man. Uh, you can you can kind of sort it, but man, you, get, you end up with a lot of just shit in your inventory. All right. I'll probably end up with the level if I just keep on exploring. Fuck it. I'm already here. A self-destruct device. I have a feeling that's gonna be coming in handy later. When we blow this when we blow this pen. Um, please don't fall into the pit, please. That would be fantastic. Don't don't do that. I know you think that's a wise idea, but don't. Falling into the pit of Mako energy is never a good thing. That usually ends in death. You know, I'm tempted to know if I can survive a fall down there, but I'm pretty sure I would just straight die. So it looks like it is in there. We, it looks like that's the room we need to be in. We're just not on the right side, obviously. Oh, well. I still wanted to look around. But hey, at least now I know where they're going to end up making me go at some point during this ridiculous adventure. So. I guess I should do what the game is asking of me and go the direction they're asking me to go. But... The RPG gamer in me tells me no, not to do that. That sounds like a terrible idea. Don't listen to what the game wants. Do what you please. Or not. Okay, that's locked. Fuck it. I guess. Where are we? Looks like the control room for an ether blast furnace. There, look at that. Hmm. So this is what supplies the Mechon with ether energy. Shulk, what's that? Oh, looks like fun. Ricky, want to ride? We didn't come here to mess about, Furball. Time to bounce on. Hold on. If we can stop that piston. We might be able to shut down the blast furnace. Nice idea. Cut off the Mechon's ether supply. Ricky, say we try! 
Yeah, but how are we supposed to stop something that massive? If we can stop the turbines driving the piston, it should work. And the turbines should be nearby. Right. Let's search for them. All right, stop the ether blast furnace in the dep in the depot and stop the mechon supply route. Stop the first and second turbine. Nice. All right, everybody. Till then, stay tuned for more Xenoblade Chronicles. I will see you all next time. Have a fantastic day. Ryan, please don't trip over your own two damn feet, please. I am not here to pick up after you. Dunban, continue being a, bu a bamf. Uh, yeah, it's been, been a ride, honestly. I'm kind of excited. I guess I'll make sure everyone, well, I mean, as you can see, a lot of people have already started to max out their shit. Um, that's also because I haven't been really paying that much attention to it. It's just sort of just been a thing. I just have them kind of do, you know, you just have them kind of do things, kind of just make sense. We're going to free up, uh, so that people are not glowing red all the time. Uh, what do you got? Oh, okay. Um, nah. You're not currently a tank. I don't really need you to play that role at the moment. You're not currently in a tank role do that all right all right until then guys stay tuned i will see you all next time